welcome back to the big build. We are making this. Well, we better get on then. So we're currently at the uh, bus station. Now we are making that route between the, uh, the bus station and the airport. So we are trying to add some details onto this uh, road. So some lights is always a good thing. Real roads have lights, especially in cities, so bad some then. And a spline down here. We've still got that moving person. That, uh, I think I said last episode, that uh, that person will go. Now that light's not right. But these are, once we got them in the right place. Little things like that really do make it. Now we're only putting lights in, the, in this middle area here because we've got the bus route nowhere else, not needed. No entries, because it's one way only than there. Now, this is our invisible bus stop. We have one this end as well. Move that bus out of the way and somehow I managed to put it back again. So as soon as I put it up there, it's there again. How do I do that? It's, you're going there, you'll be moved. Right, so, yep, yeah. here you go, come on, down you go, down you go. So what we need to do, add the bus stops in, add this invisible track in. Now, actually, this track was the same one I initially used for the airport. And I thought maybe it's the track which is a problem, so I changed it. So the track will change here as well at some point to a different invisible one. Makes no difference. I tried about four or five in the end. So along here, trying to make sure we can keep the same height. There you go, it's not that hard. Let's raise it up a little bit. Straighten it off there. So the things we eventually will need to do, and we don't think it's now, but uh, we need to put some speed limiters in, because otherwise the bus zooms around. And we're a bit multiple ones in because around the corner's slow, on the straights fast, that sort of thing. Back onto the main road again, and now, initially, I don't do this, but we stop. I will stop at markers. So each stop, both ends, we stop at markers. I found that out when I did the first route, the simple route, where trains act. No, it's the wrong one. Don't put it in there. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, that's better. Now, trains tend to stop in different places if you stop them at the station. But if you stop them at markers, they all stop at the same place. Small tip. So I've always stopped at markers. So I place a marker at each station and that's initially what I do, but then I work out, but then the bus goes the wrong way because it will always pick the shorter route for me to be. So it goes from the train station to here, okay. Does it? Yes, and then it reverses back again. So we end up adding some more markers in. And so what I do, I put one at the end of the, uh, uh, the junctions, so then we can just stop the train, uh, stop the bus at the junction. You just notice that square of the, uh, the Midland thing there, it's just rather annoying, I can't get rid of it. It's a pity as well. And also that bus despawns a few times, it's, uh, I don't know why. We show lots of different grass here and bushes and things, but uh, we find some which I quite like in the end. Lower it down so it doesn't look unnatural. Once we've painted it and things, it looks alright in the end. I think it looks quite good at the end. Just really searching through, and I found these by accident, so we've spawned these in here. Now, initially, I put some bushes in each one. But in the end, what we do, we take a couple out and we actually put some trees in there. It looks really nice in the end. I'm quite pleased with how that looks. Now, you can see I was trying for flowers, really. But I couldn't find anything big enough, so we put some bushes in there instead for now. Four bushes. 
And it looks okay. And here I still wasn't very happy with how it looked. Now I figure we put some crossings in here and the other side. We've got two in now. Uh, nice little ziggy zaggy bits. Now the crossing's a little bit too wide for this road. That's why the uh, the lights there are a little bit further into the path. It's, just, it's not really noticeable. It's fine. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm messing about here. Pressing the wrong buttons, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Taking way too long putting those in. A few more bushes here. It's on the flat, so it's fine there. A few low poly trees further out I think it's probably fine because we're not going sort of down here really but near the station there something a little bit higher quality or if you can view it from the track as well now this you can see I put those trees in between Too big. And I start thinking, it does dawn on me at some point. You see, it really is. You just keep trying and trying and trying until you find it how you like it. And the other things with those two trees, I've just got to adjust them slightly. I'll probably do it off camera just to make sure the bus doesn't hit them. Again, low poly stuff up here. It's, it's, it's good enough, really good enough. Now we're here, now, these trees really do make it here. It really just pops off a little bit more. Same ones here. Got to raise them up because we're actually in uh, off the ground here, aren't we? So these trees, we, we've kept them the same because we I want to show that they've been planted. They've not just spawned in by themselves. Someone's thought about what, what trees can be there. Now these bushes don't end up staying here. I like the idea of them being here, but no, they didn't quite work. We end up detailing there a little bit more later on, so and that's fine. We, we'll put some, again, here we'll have some walls or something as well, eventually. But for this episode, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you press that ding-dong bell button, it even tells you when I put more stuff on. See you next time. Cheers then. Bye-bye.